This was the tale thus far. That reminds me of that one movie, you know, the one, the one where the guy at the mask and the babysitter. And now, the story continues. Welcome, comrades. It's Ice with Jim here, and today we're going to be playing episode 11 of Dongarumpa H2O. Last episode, Ash committed suicide to prevent Four from killing him. But now, this is it. The final chapter of Danganronpa, H2O. How will the story end? Who is the mastermind? Let us see in this chapter. The note was clear. Come to the meeting room. Under normal circumstances, it would be pretty dumb to listen to a note like that. But this time, everyone else is here. Do we know where Oliver is? I assume they're the ones who wrote the note. Geez, that's pretty worrying. First, Oliver goes missing. Now this weird door is here? Let's just hope for the best, right? I guess. Hey, the only directions we can go now is forward, and that door is looking like it's straight ahead. What's back there, anyway? Can't say. We have to go through to see. I guess we should get on with it. That's right. Let's go. Let's hope it's nothing weird. We all walk through the door. Dun, dun, dun! What are you doing here? I right, congratulate you. You found the secret area! Secret area? I was right. You found the secret area, so now you have the chance to enter the victory scene scenario. What are you trying to say? You're not making any sense. I already told you about the Victory A scenario, and you could have assumed the Victory B scenario. And I think you're going to have to explain. All right, you dum-dums. The Victory A scenario is if you kill someone and get away with it, that's the first way to win. The Victory B scenario is that if enough people die, but there's only two left, then the killing game ends, and those two can leave. The Victory C scenario is that you just entered. Nobody's done it before. If you begin the scenario by discovering the secret area, then the file trial will commence. Trial? Did someone die? No, nope, this is the trial that determines whether you can all get out or not! What are we solving then, if there's no murder to figure out? That one's easy! You have to convince us to let you live! What does that mean? This area contains all the clues you need to figure out why you're here! You have to decipher who it is that brought you here and figure out what's going on! Then you have to beg for your lives! Beg for our lives? Yep, you have to convince us to let you live, and it stands, we plan on killing all of you, so you'll have to convince us otherwise. That's the gimmick behind Victory C scenario. If you can pull it off, a bunch of you can live, but if you screw up, everyone dies. We'll have to beg for our lives, so we have to come up with a good argument as to why we should live. That's right, good luck! Kiriko leaves us in shock. What now? What are we supposed to do? He says that all the clues to figure out why we're here are in this area. So we have to do this one last investigation. Looks like it. We should try to find Oliver, too. Guess we got our work cut out for us, huh? But we can do this. Just like every other time. I say that, but do I really believe it? Can we really do this? I'm just going to keep hoping for the best. Let's start searching. Word. This is it! The final chapter! Archie, we walk in the room filled with wall to wall with file cabinets. Unless it's a kind of archive, it's going to be pretty difficult to look through all this stuff. Also, we don't have much of a choice, though. Then let's start looking. One file's name stands out to me. And I see Oliver mentioned something about that to me. I look at the file, or NHC must deeply involved in this. What's NHC anyway? Oh well, yeah, I've heard of them. It's a multi-billionaire dollar information starring co sharing corporation. It stands for the New Hope Corporation. They essentially control the flow of information in this world. A company like that actually exists? Scary. How have I never heard of them? Their influence is very, it's very far-reaching, and they've used their power to keep their name a secret. Wild. Hey, it's a student roster. Really? What does it say? Mostly general info about each of us, but this part seems pretty weird. We've all been assigned dollar values? What's the deal with that? Some of us, like Hunter and Murray, have millions of dollars listed, listed next to their names. Unlike Hassar and Ricardo have much smaller amounts, but then one of them, Oliver has a zero by their name. What does that mean? Zero? Look, this one is about Freedom Academy. What does it say? Nothing. We don't already know. It's a private school for the exceptional talent caring for the host of the world. Well, it was founded 24, 7 years ago by an unknown organization. Sounds pretty mysterious. Is it telling us, like, the background of all this game? Jeez, what is it? Every year since its founding, among 20 freshmen from Freedom Academy go missing. Does that mean we're the missing freshmen this year? 
missing students. Check this out. Check tons of them. They're all going to different kinds of people. Let's see, some of these last names look familiar. Scott Perez, you don't think there are any relations. That's not the only one. Alexander Harris Filter, Samuel Clark, Philip Montreg, Mary Hosa. That's my mom. What is this? Looks like there are more different governments, agencies, new outlets. It's like they're paying people off. These things are worth millions of dollars. What kind of money do these people have? I'd rather see if there's anything with my name in it, but I didn't think I wanted to know. Do they pay people so their children can actually go to these academies? Hey, this one's about Ash. Looks like the description of his role in the killing game. Apparently he was an overseer from the Executive Board at Freedom Academy. I remember that from my year at the school. It was to keep an eye on us regular students. Looks like he entered the killing game as a traitor. His job was to kill someone in the killing destination. He was also supposed to keep an eye on us and make sure everything runs smoothly. But if he kills someone, wouldn't he get executed? It says here that his execution will be faked. So he really was working on this. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I read somewhere that in order to do something under hypnosis, you have to want them to do it subconsciously. That's true, I wanted to kill Ash, huh? I was planning on it, on Folkings, of course. I knew better than to kill him, but I knew that he was involved with the game and I wanted to kill him for it. I never would have actually killed him, but deep down I had that let, that latent desire. Ash's role, dirty money, let's say psychological evaluations. That's so far as each of us, they seem to be analyzing our actions in the killing game. Check it out, there are a bunch of other files too, looks like oh, 27 of them. But all the ties are redacted as the contents are missing. Revelations. Hey Ford, this one has your last name on it. So there's a file on my family. It says that your family used to be the information share superpowers of the world. That's right, that is until NAC came along. The essentials assert our, our throne and we were forced into the shadows. The children of the Candid family specialized the men and raised, and raised for a sole purpose of taking down NAC. So that's why you went through all that. Why did, but why is it only the men? Misogyny. Oh, trust me, my family isn't a good group. If they had the same power as the NHC, it would just as, be as bad. I'm fine with going along with my family's goal to take down NHC because NHC is bad. But I don't intend to let my family rise to power. I have enough dirt from, from the inside to make sure they never gain any power. So you're trying to take down both sides? Good luck with that, Four. It's like something about the executive branch of NHC. What does it say? Most of the info is reacted so it can't get much out of it. There is one thing I can't read though. Something something called the Fang. I know what that is. The Fang is the nickname given to the CEO of NHC. Nobody knows their real name. They're extremely secretive and their cruel nature has earned them the nickname. Allegedly, they're the ones that funded the Academy at the beginning. Sounds like a pretty scary person. Impressive. So, Ash was the was a part of this all the time. What? A bunch of CDs. Look at all these titles: Second Trial, Victoria's Highlight, August's Execution. Looks like the footage from the Killing Game. So we were being recorded this entire time. The fact that they're using term highlights to describe things that happen is a bit disturbing. Killing game footage. It looks like a bunch of paint minutes from people. Purchasing footage from the killing game? Look at this one. The buying footage from day seven. I recognize some of these names. There are all super rich people like the extremely wealthy class. Are they selling the footage from the killing game to the wealthy elite? There's something I need to tell you about why I'm here. What is it? Years ago, my oldest sister won and came to the school. She went missing. I have reason to believe this, this school, and NHC by extension has something to do with it. That's another reason I'm here. I need to find out what happened to my sister, and I need to avenge her. That's why I infiltrated the killing game. One Caden. Hey, it's about the mastermind. If only one of us had been assigned to be the mastermind. What does that mean? Not much, apparently. The only person they get is knowledge of the facility and what's going on. They also get special protection to keep them from getting killed. It's someone closely tied to the NRC, apparently. Hmm. And this one? It's an email chain between two NRC's executives. 
What about the traitor? What did you do about him? Don't worry about it. We told him that if he killed anyone, his execution would be faked. And do you actually plan on faking the execution? Of course not. We don't want any loose ends, right? Looks like they were planning to betray someone. They were planning to betray Ash! He was gonna get executed either way! It's time. I think it's time. We're right gonna in front of the door. Do we know where Oliver is? I didn't see him. We didn't see him either. That's a bit worrying. I'm sure they'll show, I'm sure they'll show, up, show up soon. Let's go and they'll probably be there. If you say so, we walk through the door. Took you long enough. I've been waiting here for a while now. Let's get started. What? What are they doing here? I guess we can talk about it later. We all get in our usual spots. All six of us. But therefore, they were helped me so much ever since I got here. I'm truly grateful that I got to meet them. Leanna and Kojo, those two are so full of energy and positive. If it weren't for them, this place would have been a lot darker. And Oliver, I'm glad that they finally started to open up to us. I don't know what they have to do with all of this, but that doesn't change the fact that they are that they are my friends. This is the final trial. Our lives are on the line. This is going to be the ultimate test. But I know we can do it. We made it this far, right? We can do this. A deadly secret. A deadly organization. One last deadly trial. I won't ever give up. All right, this trial's going to be differently, so let me explain. We have entered a victory C scenario. Me, it's time for the final trial. At the stands, we plan on killing all of you. This is your job to convince us otherwise. This trial will be determined all of your fates. Do your best to convince us that you deserve to live. I suggest starting by getting on a grasp of everything that's going on. I think the first thing I want to know is, Oliver, were you while we were investigating? Busy. Seems like they're they're being pretty cagey. Looks like we'll have to drag it out of them. We just want to know what you were doing. You can't tell us. We're your friends, right? I don't have to tell you anything. Oliver, you know about the layout of this facility, don't you? I don't know anything. Counter! Oliver, you obviously know something we don't. You're the, you're the one that left us that note, weren't you? All of us were together when we found it. You left us that note to find the secret area. You led us there. Is that so? And what does that mean? Nothing. Oliver, come on, you're clearly pretty suspicious right now. Just fess up so that it doesn't look worse when we figure it out. I'm not saying anything. I have to keep pushing forward. Oliver, please just tell us what's going on. I'm pretty surprised that something is up. Nothing is up. Just lay off. No. You left a note. It couldn't have been any of us. I don't know anything about a note. Please, Oliver, just tell us what you know. I'm not involved with any of this. Counter! You were obvious. You were honestly the one who led us to the secret area. You have to know something. There are two of that that know immediate details of the killing game: the traitor and the mastermind. And you are the mastermind. It can only be him because he was the only one who was paid zero, and Ash was the traitor. The mastermind. We know that the traitor was Ash. We found a file describing his role. The mastermind, on the other hand, has knowledge of the facility and protection from death. And Ash is dead. I see. You figure me out then. I'm the mastermind. I'm the thing, CEO of the New Hope Corporation. I'm the one that trapped you here and forced you to participate in this game. What? That can't be true. But why? Don't you already know the answer? You, you did the investigation, didn't you? Those psychological analysis and the footage from the killing game. I was saying the killing game serves several purposes. That's right. The primary purpose was as a psychological experiment to see what L Extremely talented individuals do in a dangerous situation. You all are the depending var variables we throw in our independent variables. And see what happens and record the results. So our friends died for an experiment. We, we could have had a normal school life. I could have been happy. I could have gone to class like a normal student. And, and she would still be alive. We wouldn't have lost her. Our lives ended up in this for an experiment. And you were selling the footage to... You were selling our death as experiment so you can make a quick buck? Let me guess. NAC found the Freedom Academy for the, si for the sole purpose of doing this. Freedom Academy serves many purposes. NHC has many irons and many fires. We control all the information in the world and our powers is near infinite. You cannot defeat us. Your cause is hopeless. We even pay off your families. They think you ran away and they receive enough money to keep them from going to the authorities. Even if they try to go to the authorities, we can pay them off too. We can control everything. Our families? 
No, Mom and Dad would never stop looking for me. They would try to find me, I know it. Let's hope they don't, because anyone that defies us is silence. Silence? You don't mean... Where are my parents? Do you not realize your situation is hopeless? You're all going to die. We remain unpersuaded. You're lying. What's that supposed to mean? You aren't who you say you are. They look mad. I'll have to wait for them to slip up so I can catch them in their lie. Are you not listening to anything I was saying? I'm the Fang. I'm the CEO of the new host corporation. My power is limitless. I even own the skill that we're going to. Counter! Are you sure about that? What's with the smug look? You really own the Academy. The one that was founded 27 years ago. The one that the Fang founded. Excuse me. The NHC charging some information is always going to slip through the cracks, especially when going up against the Caden family. I know that the same CEO has founded the Academy 27 years ago. Nice girl! Is the same one is still in place today. So tell us, who is the real Fang? Yeah, and don't try anything tricky. Fine. She's my mother. Your mother? That's right. I'm not the CEO of NHC. I'm the heir to the throne of NHC. But aren't you the mastermind? I'm the mastermind in the sense that the mastermind is my appointed position in the game. My mother, Emily, Emily, Emilia Fang, and the other NSC executives are the ones to set up the killing game. I serve as their proxy. So what does that mean to us? It means you're a captive, just like us. What? No, I'm the mastermind. Of course! Keep telling yourself that! You always were a disappointment. The voice. Mother? Oh, it's coming from Karakuma. Isn't the usual one. It's more mature and more feminine. Could this be Emily Fang? The Fang? What is going on? What are you talking about, Mom? What's going on? Don't you understand? You're not special. You're just another useless child. You weren't meant to actually run this game. You're just another product made for New Hope Corporation. Hold on. Is it this one? Okay, no. I have to keep going. Proceed. You were meant to actually run this game. You're just another product to make for New Hope Corporation. Please, you wouldn't betray me. I'm not so sure about that. We've already seen NRC's willingness to betray her allies. Ash was told that he would get a special role, that if he kills someone, his execution would be faked. That was a lie. NRC never intended to let him live. I doubt that they'll let any of us live. But she said I would survive. That was a lie! Even if, even if one of you got away with murder, or only two remain, nobody would survive. New Hope Corporation doesn't leave those ends. We are invincible. So it's hopeless. We were just set up for failure? Even this trial is all a lie, isn't it? That's right, you're all going to die here. But mother, I'm not your mother. I made you for a purpose. Mother who was not that purpose. You existed to be in this game. You were raised for this and you failed miserably. I never should have had you. Do you all realize yet? This world doesn't care about you. There are billions of humans in this world who are just specks. Nobody will miss you when you disappear. I'll make sure of that. The fact that you don't have the ability to believe that you'll survive is laughable. Nothing you can do convinced me to let you live. We're going to die. Mother. She won't let us go. We're going to die. This is hopeless. So the world doesn't care about us. I guess there's no feeling sorry for ourselves. We're all going to die here. I look around for my friends. They're all wearing blank expressions. Void of any kind of hope. All kind of emotion. The world doesn't care about us. Is that really true? I look at Maya. She always salon and energetic, but she was silent. For I had a thousand miles stare. I'm not looking at anything, just staring. Even though I'm honest, I am. She's going through so much. She's gotten so much stronger over the time we've been here. But she's silent. All of her looks just as upset. I guess it would. I would too. If my mother told me anything close to what their mother did. And Kujo, I'm so used to that cute, dopey expression. It's so hard to see him so upset. Wow! Now this is really deep. I like this. But does it really matter how... Now that there's nobody to save us, now that I just is forced to accept death, seeing my friends like this, feeling this despair, knowing that there's nobody to save me, nobody cared about me, I can't let them feel like this. I can't just give up like this, huh? I'll convince them. I'll show them that we still have each other. Don't you get it? It's all hopeless. Everything we fought for. All our friends that that die. None of it matters. None of it. There's nobody that cares about us. That's wrong. Kokona care about you. What? She's dead. But her memory isn't. She cared about you so much, and you can't let that love die. Do you want to give up on her like that? Her memory? After she died, I kept going because I wanted to make her proud. How could I forget that? I have to keep fighting. I can't just let myself die here. I can't give up on her. What are you guys talking about? I can't let them trick themselves into thinking we're alone. We did this all in our investigation. We tried everything we could. After all this time, the truth doesn't even matter. We were doomed this entire time. 
Did my sister feel the same hopelessness? Did she die in the same way? I guess it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter because we're going to die either way. You can't give up on the truth. That day we can seriously change the fact that we're going to die. All those classes that came before us, we're going to be just like them. No, the truth is always worth it. That's what, we're, what we've been fighting for this entire time. We have this chance, and it's higher than none. We can still do this. You can't give up. You've been fighting since the beginning. The truth, what I've been looking for since we got here. I suppose this is what I've been working toward for my entire life. After all that hard work and effort, I guess it's a bit difficult to give up just like that. If you really think that last chance is enough to fight for, then I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll hold on to that possibility until my last breath, breath leaves my body. Otherwise, even after all this, they're still my friend. My mother doesn't care about me. I was just a pawn, a part of this game. None of it even matters. I was just a pig being prepared for the slaughter. Nobody cared about me. Oliver, that's wrong. What do you mean? You say nobody ever cared about you, but we're all right here. Even if you're the mastermind, whatever that means, you're our friend. We're not going to give you, give up on you. You all cared about me? Even after all this? I, I've never had friends before. I was raised for the sole purpose of being in this game. If you guys really did accept me, even after all this, then maybe there really are people like that care about me. Remember, they may have given up on me, but I'm my own human. I'm not something that she owns. I don't have to do what she says. Kojo. Really, I don't know where they are. These people have totally control over us. They never let us go. What's the point? Why even bother? There's nobody to save us now. Kojo, that's not true. I won't let anything happen to you. Not if I can help it. Bro, I love you. As long as I'm here, I won't let you give up. Hunter! I told you they haven't! Say! What did I tell you? With you around, I'll never feel like I was in danger. I guess I forgot about that. Now kiss up already, please! We are dying for this moment! Why could you add this meat scene where they can both kiss? Can you please add that? At least make it right. I know that we've gotten each other's back, and I can't forget that. Are you all crazy or something? Maya. She's made it pretty clear what's going to happen to us. They're going to kill us. We don't have any hope left. You seriously think we have any hope? Do you seriously think we can do anything? There's nothing. Nothing at all. The world doesn't care about us. Nobody cares about us. Maya. It may be true that the world doesn't care about us. If you take NSC's power into consideration, they're pretty much controlling the world. But even the world doesn't care about us. We can care about each other. Each other. I made a promise. I was that I wouldn't give up. All of you, all of you are my friends. The world may have it out for us, but I got all of you on my side. So who gives, the who gives a, the who gives a muck about what the world thinks? I'm Maya, I'm Maya mucking Ken Vanilla. When I see a tear in my, hey, Miss Faye, Mrs. Faye, you better not be t telling yourself that we're just gonna give up. And world's name are you talking about? Are you all done with this pointless drabble? Have you looked at your face? Well, no. We haven't except squat. Seriously, isn't it clear that no one cares about you? That's wrong. We have friends who died along the way. I know they care about us. Everyone who died, we care of them with us. Mary, who had nothing but love in her heart. August, who wanted to be best for everyone else. Cammy, she just wanted a world with true justice, one without corruption. Even with his weird way of talking, Ricardo was a real smart guy. He loved the world he lived in and all the people in it. Kokona, I cared about her so much. She felt trapped by this world and just wanted to be free. Chad never did anything to hurt anyone. All he ever wanted was to treat his people around him with kindness. And Tamako, I don't really understand her. But in her last moment, she called us her friends. She's human, just like all of us. Cesar and Victoria, they both went through so much. Oh, that wherever they are now, they forgave each other. And Ash, he may have been on your side, but in his last moment, he helped us. He cared about us. If Ash can care about us, then that's just one person. But there were 16 of us. We're all humans. We all bleed the same blood. You may say that in a population made up of billions of people, not individual life matters. But that's not true. Every human life is precious. Even human life is something worth protecting. Even though this world doesn't care about us. Muck, even though the world is actually trying to stop us. We care about each other. And that's all that matters. And you can never destroy something like that. So what? Is that it? That proves nothing. That's not enough to convince me to spare you. I have a feeling that you wouldn't be enough, but I think I know someone who might be able to help us. Oliver, you were playing something, weren't you? Huh? Huh? Think about it. You brought up the secret area and activate Victory C scenario, then went totally missing. I thought you were trying to kill us all, so I bet you were playing something. So what were you doing while you were investigating? I was sending myself an email. 
What do you mean? Uh, I have this. I'll reach into their pocket and pull something out. A cell phone? One of the reasons I unlocked the secret arrow was so that I could get, the mi get to the monitor room. I got all the footage from the killing game, as well as a bunch of emails, and documented kept by NAC, and emailed it to the cell phone. So you have dirt on NAC? That's right. I don't even have to take down the entire corporation. But why? Why didn't you tell us earlier? Because... I just finished sending. Oliver, what are you doing? I have a teenage rebellion. I'm having a teenage rebellion, mother. You seriously didn't think I couldn't tell that you are planning on killing me? I'm not an idiot. I don't intend to die here. I tend to survive with my friends. Now this is a good ending! Nice job! I left everyone that note. They snuck into the secret area. The fact that you guys didn't install any cameras. There is a pretty major design flaw, you know that. After putting everything into a folder and sending it to this phone, all I had to do was wait for it to finish uploading. So, here's my proposal. Let all of us out, or I'll send this email to every major and minor news outlet in the world. You raise a pretty good mastermind, huh? Do you seriously think that will work? We can't just pay off anyone that tries to publish it. Not so fast. The email also includes payments of millions of dollars to make sure it gets published no matter what. Do you seriously think I wouldn't get access to NSC's wealth? It was easy. I could take down the entire corporation with the press of a button. Fine. I guess you really are your mother's child. I prepare an elevator to your surface. No tricks. No tricks? Good. Because if I see any... Because if I see anything even slightly suspicious, I'll press this button so fast you won't be able to see it. Wait, it's over? Seems like it. Get to the fifth floor hall to the elevator. It's behind the big metal door. So we just go? Hurry! And I don't have all day! We all move on somewhat unsure. We stand in front of the big door, dumbfounded. So no explosions? No nothing? What do you expect? NAC is a business. The only way to get out is, the, is negotiation. I guess we just ex expected something more final. This feels anticlimactic almost. Hey, I'm not going to complain. I mean, it's probably not over yet. My mother is probably already scheming ways to make sure we die. But for now, we can't risk killing us. At the very least, we should be able to get to the surface. We can figure everything else out from there. So it's really over. Kind of hard to believe. I guess I'm glad that at the very least we can see the sky again. Even if we have some evil corporation on our backs. So what are you guys planning to do when we get out of here? I guess I'll start working on my manga again. I got plenty of great ideas that I'm itching to get started on. I'm probably just gonna get back to my family as soon as possible. I want to see him again. Well, can I come too? You want to come with my family? Yeah! All right, then. I'm guessing that means I gotta meet yours too, right? Yeah, they'll love you. I think I'm gonna try opening a coffee shop on my own. And you guys better come. Don't worry, Maya. I promise I'll be a freaking customer. I'm not sure what I'll do. I don't really have any family to go to. Um, you got us, right? Huh? Yeah, after all this, we're pretty much family, right? If you got nowhere to go, then you can come with us. Really? Of course. We're the only ones that experienced this. So we gotta stick together, right? Thank you, guys. And if NAC tries to come after us, we'll make sure they can't touch us. This world kind of sucks sometimes. People die and bad things happen. And I say, this whole thing was pretty horrible, but I'm glad I got to meet all of you. Same here. I'm glad I met you guys, too. Yeah, we're like best friends now. Yeah, yeah. We all, we all heard a rumbling noise. Looks like the elevator is almost here. Seems like it. We all stand in anticipation. Leon tugs at her sweater. Kojo rests his head on Hunter's arm, and Hunter pulls his hands around Kojo's shoulder. I just stare at the head with a new expression filled with hope. I feel something warm touch my hand. It's Flora's hand. I got it and hold it tight. We looked at each other. Let's stick together after we get out, okay? I wouldn't want anything else. And the other door opens. Special thanks. Oh, this is great! I love this! The best HTML memes. And coming up with the best HTML memes. Aww. Send me for beta testing. Oh, nice! Knowing more about the characters than I do. Seeing you mention. Aww. Thanks, Ogi, for supporting me and beta testing throughout this entire process. You're one of my best friends out there. Thanks to me. Aww. So, this is um, a thanks to all the people who supported him. Aww. Sarah will be one of the few people I. Aww. And the rest of the fa- Aww. It's been a wild ride and it's definitely had its ups and downs. 
I say it's not back from my first fully completed game. Keep an eye out for more, because I don't intend to quit just yet. I got all kinds of stuff ahead of me. Nick Milk Punches Don't Stop, because this game is really great. I love it. I love the concept. I love... I love how the game plays out. It's awesome, and I love it. And here's the epilogue. We stand on a huge metal platform above the endless sea. It's under the edge, alone, staring off into a horizon. Beautiful. Sure is. I used some of my connections to get us a helicopter out of here. I should arrive in about half an hour. So what are we going to do about NHC? Are we going to have to run from them for the rest of our lives? Should be a problem. They're probably going to bank. They're probably going to bank as we speak. Huh? You know how I use those emails as a whore. I shiver the blackmail my mother. What about it? Yeah, I sent them emails about you know, as soon as the finish. As soon as they finished Emily. Are you serious? If she caught on, she would have killed us. But she did. And that's what matters. We live we live and AC is definitely going down. I'll make sure of it. I'd say things turn out alright. Sucks that ten of us had to die to get here. It makes this ending a lot more bittersweet. Hey, I'm sure that wherever they are, they're looking down proud on us. This is what they would have wanted. I hope so. Things are gonna be okay, alright? If you say so, Oliver walks away and Hunter and Kojo approach me. Guess what? What is it? Hunter promised me dancing lessons for free! That's no biggie. I'm just gonna show you yeah, a few moves. Man, I'm so pumped. I'm gonna tell you more. Kojo walks away and Hunter follows him, but not before turning to me and wings. After the two of them leave, Neil walks up to me. Hey! Howdy! So, do you miss them? Of course I do. The fact that all of them died so young. I guess I'm glad that we're out, but it's sad, you know. It'd be nice if Marie were here. Yeah, it would. But I guess we can't live in this past. I think she would want us to move on and live our lives to the fullest. Is she talking about Marie or... Yeah, you're right. We have to keep on moving for the sake, for their sake. Everybody would be proud of you. With that, Neil walks away. Or for me. We've been through well, sure have. It's only been a few weeks, but it feels like a year. Maya. Yeah? I know I said it already, but I'm really glad I met you. You're a really special person. Not everyone gets to meet a Maya Ken Vanilla. Not many people get to meet a Four Caden either. I can imagine it's a pretty rare name. You know, I think I want to feel the water. She takes her shoes off and sits on the edge of the platform and lets her feet dangle out the side into the ocean water. Might as well follow her suit. I take my shoes off and sit next to her, letting me touch the water. It's not cold. It's the perfect temperature. It really is nice to see the sky again. Yeah. She leaned as her head on my shoulder, and I grabbed her hand. She's warm. I feel like it could stay that way forever. As I distant, I can hear a sound of a helicopter. Bravo! Bravo! I love it! What an ending! That was really like all the other Danganronpas, but I'm glad I added an evil corporation into this. No, no single-handed high school girl, no crazy mastermind, just an evil corporation. That is actually really good. All the people who held Nick Milk Punches, you all did a wonderful job, and I want to say that this game really is incredible. I cannot wait to actually, well, I might play some more games from Nick. Nick Milk Punches, because if this game is good, a lot of others will. But usually I'm not the type of like to play games that are random, only like Amnesia the Dark Descendant, Town of Salem, Gary's Mod, oh, and some of the other old games I played. But this game is actually really different, and I like it. So thank you so much for watching. Please support Milk, milk Punches, Nick Milk Punches, whatever. Support him, support him. If you want to play this game for yourself, the link, to the, the link to the game is in the description box down below. Check out some other videos you think you might like, and let's see what happens next. Maybe there will be a second game of Dongarumpa, H2O2? Who knows? Only time will tell. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you all in the coming video. Goodbye, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next coming video. You're all dismissed.